Welcome to the Laugh Craft Podcast with my guest, Connor Fitzgerald. Hello. Connor, uh, before we get started, where can people find you? Oh, man. Uh, I don't really use it a lot, but my Instagram is uh, Connor Fitzgerald with one N. Okay. 9024. Those numbers have no meaning whatsoever. I don't know <laughs> how they got there at all. I cannot believe there's 9,000 like other Connor Fitzgeralds. Right. Um, I don't know. I have no idea where those numbers came from, but you can find me there. That's my Instagram. Okay. Um, I gotta make. I gotta make a comedy one though. Probably because yeah, yeah. you, you are putting on shows now. You're doing more. Yeah. There's nothing worse than someone being like, "Hey, and where can I contact you? We'd like to do something at our venue." And I'm like, "I have a Facebook. That's not cool." You yeah. know what I mean? Like, they don't want to hear all my stupid shit posts and stuff along with trying to do business. No one wants to do it like that. Like, I, I got to do better, man. I, I got to make this No, happen. no, me too. My, my Facebook is mostly shit posting, but so, yeah. so is my Instagram. So yeah. it's like. I think my issue is like the name. I, I like, I struggle on like, if I could find like a funny name, like I think that would be the way to go. But I'm, I'm just so bad at the names. Obviously I had, I added random numbers to the, the Instagram one. I'm Dude, terrible at it. my Instagram is stupid. Mine's Taxi Cab Samurai. That but, sounds like. Uh, that, it's like a pun though. It's like a play on words and stuff. My, what if I did like C underscore. If it fits, F I T Z, right? See if it fits. Yeah. Huh? 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 Yeah. See if it, no, that's actually good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, maybe we'll get on that. Make see that, if, make that see if it fits. See if it fits. Yeah. Coming out soon. Exactly. Coming soon. Coming. Yeah. Coming. Coming, free. coming soon to a screen near you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Oh. 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 A little something for the set. <laughs> so, uh, how long have you been doing comedy? Uh, November, end of November was two years. So two years? Two years. Okay. Yeah. I was just going off of trying to access my memory of like, how long have I known Connor? Yeah. I was <laughs> going to assume like three. Yeah, two years. Uh, so I'm in that weird spot where I don't have all the old stories. Like I always hear about like Drunk Don. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never met never Drunk Don. Never seen it. Yep, never seen it. Everyone talks about all these people that I've never met. Ever. They'd be like, did you work with this guy? And I'm like, nope, never yeah. once. Not even one time. Well, like Phil? Yeah. Well, very rarely, but yeah. Very yeah. rarely, yeah. But yeah, it, you know, it's kind of an interesting, I'm in that weird gap where I'm not like the, the old guard, but there's like guys that are new that are, you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There was a similar vibe when I joined because that was like when the descent of all the old heads were starting to scatter. and be, Got it. Like uh, Becky was still in town at that point. Fucking Scott was still in town at that point. Uh, fucking yeah, there was just all, all these people. The, the Chico comedy scene has changed a lot. That's what I hear over yeah. the past almost decade. Yeah, that's why I got to keep that open mic going, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. At, at the <laughs> studio in. Yeah, studio in open mic every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the studio in mic, it, it doesn't necessarily change. It just is the studio in mic. Yeah, it's, you know. My big goal when I started it was to change the vibe because when I was first starting, no one wanted to be there. So it'd be the host, yeah. me, and maybe one other person. Mm. And now I've got it to a point where at least it's a place where comics can go. That even if we're just telling jokes to each other, you know what I mean? It's, you know, a bigger group. You know what I mean? Right, way, right, way right, more, right. You know? Yeah, because I, I said it doesn't change. At the same time, I, I have noticed a slight downcline decline from when I started out versus when Dil Dylan had taken over that had declined after that before that kind of around like when Travis Doughty left right and the whole uh, vibe changed but the open mics have just started to slip away like yeah. there's no Maltese anymore uh, oh, that was no. yeah 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 it's not even the lab anymore not e oh, yeah dude, the lab the lab was nasty the lab was like this weird dirty experiment which, it was, yeah, it was, a uh, whew. Yeah. It was the only thing going on for comedy uh, during COVID. Yeah. So, like, we had people from San Francisco driving up just to get some fucking time. Boy, when I started, it was <laughs> not that. My first time at the lab, it was my second open mic. I had just done one at Vince's Restaurant. My first one ever. Nice. Restaurante. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've and been to Danny Luna. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I was at that recently. Yeah, so that was my first one ever. I just did it on a whim. I just was there supporting someone else. And mm -hmm. uh, comics were just bombing one after another. Yeah. And uh, I remember thinking, like, uh, well, I can do that bad. 
You know, what yeah. I, mean? I, I, I got that. That's no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but uh, so I went up and did eight minutes. They never gave me a light or anything, so I just fucking rambled for eight minutes. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Some was okay, some was not. But uh, I immediately, the Monday after that, go to the lab, and there's really no one there. One yeah. guy, kind of being a problem before the mic. You know what I mean? So once everything's kind of set up. He's kind of being a problem for the hosts and everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't think he was super drunk. I kind of think it was more like a head injury issue kind of deal because it was kind of erratic behavior. But so they kind of calm him down, push him. Where, you remember where the bathroom is in there where it's like tucked behind yeah, in yeah, that yeah, hallway? Yeah. So they kind of push him into there. Host kind of gets to doing his stuff. Right as the host. Was, was the comedy inside at that point? Yeah, it was inside okay, at okay. that little fireplace area or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, the host. About to wrap up, and this guy comes storming out of the bathroom, dick in his hand, oh. charging at the host. Just uh, uh, oh. and this one guy who was just trying to help went from being the nicest guy I've ever seen. Oh, sir, if we could just get you back here, we could just calm everything down. It's all good. Once that dick came out, he was marine again, and he threw this guy completely onto the pavement out that side door. That was like my first in town open mic ever. Good for him. Yeah, I Good was like, God damn it. I was like, is this what happens at open mics? Like, this did not happen at Vince's. No, <laughs> that's not going to happen at Vince's, but that did happen at the lab. Yeah, dude, oh. different mics for different vibes, for sure. So, you know, you, you build your comedy muscles in different ways. And mine was with a dude charging at the host with a dick in his hand at my first. That's a, good way, to, mic. That's a good way to break you in. I learned a lot. Yeah, yeah, I bet. You learn a lot when there's a dick in somebody's hand. Oh, boy. Either about yourself or about them, for sure. I've never seen someone with the dick in their hand so angry. Yeah, it's, honestly, like, you know what I mean? That was... Yeah, that's, it's the anger that would upset me. Like, if somebody's gleefully happy with their dick in their hand, that's normal. Right. You know what I mean? That's... I think they would have might have handled it differently, but yeah, he, had a, he had bad intention in his eyes. I felt uh, bad. Man. I don't like that, but that also <laughs> seems like the answer to... <laughs> <laughs> the next question I was going to have was, what, what's the worst Eckler situation you've ever had? Oh, man. Yeah. I didn't even get a chance to do comedy on that one. But uh, I wonder why. Yeah. Why? Well, yeah. He, yeah. He got thrown out way before I got to go up. But uh, <laughs> Heckler's, I don't know. I, uh, I don't get a whole lot. I did have a guy once who was like, it wasn't like heckling so much. You know, some people will be like so excited and drunk. That they, they they feel like we're talking directly to them. Yeah. So then they're like responding to what you're saying. Yeah. And it's not mean or malicious or anything like that. You know what I mean? But it's definitely not helping and it's certainly distracting everything. Yeah. Um, and so I was like, uh, I was hosting for Dylan at studio. And this guy's having a great time. And he keeps saying, my name is Calvin. And... Uh, he said that so many times. And at one point, I brought a date. And she, uh, she had had enough of this guy. Absolutely had enough. And I'm going up to bring up the next comic. And she storms up to him. And, you know, your first thought when you, your date is storming a grown man is, like, I'm going to get stabbed after this outside oh, for of the sure. bar. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. This is Studio Win. Yeah. This is terrifying. Like, Oh, yeah. She's really mad. She's pointing at him. It's pointing. And ultimately, he leaves. And I asked her, like, uh, what did you say to make this guy leave? You know what I mean? Like, that yeah. was crazy. And she said, uh, listen here, motherfucker. These guys are out here doing jokes. If you want to do jokes, you can sign up. Otherwise, shut the fuck up or leave. And uh, that was my probably the worst heckler, but it was also the most interesting experience. Like, no one's ever been that nice at an open mic ever again. Like, <laughs> Yeah. I'm, I'm amazed he yeah. left instead of just instead continuing. Of, yeah, exactly. But yeah. Yeah, she was pretty young. Where a heckler gains insight and is able to see their own actions for the first time. It that's, was, yeah. That's a beautiful story, man. I know, I know. Yeah, I gotta have more years. <laughs> and that's actually the best thing that like somebody could say to somebody who's doing that. Right. It, it's it's concise, it's to the point, it's everything that needs to be said. Handled perfectly. That was a beautiful story. It was good. Yeah, was yeah, good. yeah, yeah. It's a good one. I probably would have married her on the spot. <sighs> that would have been a big mistake. Oh, yeah. You wouldn't have liked that. Uh, no. She's no, willing no. to fight grown men at the bar. That's, a, that's a, not a green flag, though. <laughs> no, but red flags are sexy. Sometimes. 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 <laughs> Not all red flags. Right. But depends sometimes. On their, depends on their credit score. I'm going to say that's a factor. That's not <laughs> everything. What about their social credit score? 
I'm less concerned. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. Uh, now we're going to hop to the news. I've been excited for this new segment. There's been a lot going on in the news lately. Um, so have you heard about the secret Jew tunnels in New York? I saw something about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So, you know, I haven't, I haven't looked into this super specifically, but I keep hearing things out in the ether. It was like... Um, because it all started with that one video of just this dude crawling out of the side, like right. out of the concrete, out of the sewer, seemingly. And uh, you were talking to me earlier how they were, they had extracted a, a dirty mattress from from these tunnels. I didn't hear about a mattress, yeah. but I definitely heard about like the 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 police encounter, like them dragging people out, people refusing to leave the I tunnels. Saw, yeah, I saw that video. Yeah. But I, the question on everybody's mind is, what's with the tunnels, man? I. I where are they going? Can we can we map these tunnels? Are they was that the only tunnel? Yeah, I, I've seen. You know? Yeah, I, no, it can't be the only tunnel. It's got to be a whole system. Uh, I got it. I have the big question. Did you see in the video the guy taking the film of it? Does a song that's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Jewish people. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. He goes like he goes like Hasidic in a half shell. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck! Yeah, that whole situation is completely baffling to me. I don't understand. It, it makes all. me wonder where else there's tunnels. They say in Chico, it's all there's a bunch of tunnels and in Oroville the city and stuff. Yeah, I believe it. You know. Yeah. Anywhere think... the anywhere the Chinese is what old people will like to say in Chico. Yeah, 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 yeah. The the China, there's Chinese tunnels. There's chi <laughs> it's weird. There's Chinese tunnels on the west coast, but there's Jew tunnel, Jew t Jewish tunnels on the east coast. Also, aren't they running out of like underground for New York? They you, have you think to. they have to because there's there's subways. There's, yeah, and... there's subways. There's rat tunnel systems. There's just there holes there places. Do there's, you think? Do you think that there's ever like a swarm of rats? It's like a, like they gang turf wars. You know what I mean? Like oh, they have to. I'll yank, I'll yank that yarmulke right off your head. You know what I mean? Me and my 400 giant rat buddies. Oh, and... so Jew <laughs> Jewish people are fighting rats for territory? In tunnels? In yeah, tunnels. Secret, yeah, that's... Sec it, secret turf war? It, we can start that conspiracy theory right now. People will believe anything at this point. This, this year is scary. There is no shit. sewer wars in Boston. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, exactly. like... Yeah, you know. Bro, honestly, who would win? Depends on how many rats. Dude, there's a lot of rats. There's probably almost infinite rats underneath New York. And, and I think if they could if they could band together, like Braveheart, they got a shot. I think they do. How many rat kings does it take? Also, since it's mostly underground, uh, the space laser isn't going to be able to be of use most exactly. of the time. Yeah. Exactly. Are you yeah. going to collapse your own tunnels, bro? See, like, that's been, not... They've probably been waging this war for generations. You know what I mean? <laughs> Long before we've been here, yeah, we don't know it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, about this. <laughs> I've never read the Torah. I don't know. How I, I don't know what's going on in there. Yeah, how many millions, millions of them, dude? I gotta think if an Arab guy came out of that tunnel, we'd have made a bigger stink about it. But I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm kind of familiar with the idea just because I read. I, I read a little bit of Warhammer fantasy. Yeah, like a Muslim guy. If you just like it's, there's out. sentient rat yeah. people. See? Yeah. I'm inclined to believe anything. With tunnels all throughout the world? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Totally. You're right. You've got to be running out of space, right? I think so. I think so. But, like, what, what is it about these tunnels? Like, what's happening under New York? What can't... Well, I'm wondering, more or less, what's on top. If you know that people have tunnels, I want to know what they know about what's above the tunnels. You know what I mean? That's I'm much more concerned with. <laughs> Secret air tunnels? I don't know. It's got to have like a ventilation and stuff. You can't just have tunnels. There's no air and stuff. <laughs> yeah, you got to have like a ventilation. I mean, they have holes that they just crawl out of in the sidewalks. I mean, there's there's holes in places. Yeah. While well, a dude with a cell phone sings his rendition of Teenage, Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtles. Ninja yeah. Turtles. God, I love that shit. <laughs> Moving on to our next segment. Uh, have you heard about what's going on in Spain recently? No. So Spain uh, has elected onto their parliament... A person with Down syndrome. Oh. Yeah. First elected official with confirmed Down syndrome. And my first thought on that is we already knew that uh, politicians excelled in politics when they were mentally deficient, but good on Spain for being like really outward about it, you know? Sure. Yeah. Sure. I mean, can't get any worse than anything we've had in a long time. You know what I mean? Like, 
And yeah, and historically speaking, that's like really on track for Spain. Yeah. yeah. All kinds of, they said Thomas Jefferson probably had Asperger's. I believe it. Yeah. He's a weird guy. But, you know, I don't know. I believe probably if they've got someone with Down syndrome in there, um, John Cena will visit more. I don't, um, like... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. What, what, I mean, what, I, they could take notes. Yeah. It, it, it can't be worse than Marjorie Taylor Greene. I would take, I would take someone with Down syndrome over that lady. I'll seriously, I, I think it's just like a, Spain just doing something to try to be relevant. Because like they haven't. It could be it. Like there's nowhere left to explore, discover, colonize. So they haven't been doing anything for the past like century. That's true. Because it's all, it's always like, oh, what's Germany, Italy, fucking. Yeah, England doing, doing stuff. Yeah, Spain's yeah, not doing, doing anything. Spain, Spain hasn't been doing shit. That's just Spain's just big Portugal when you think about it. You think they're training rats and sending them over here to fight in the tunnels, or that's an interesting thing. I'm telling you, we can start this conspiracy. Where, where do these right tunnels go? Now. I don't. Do they go under the ocean. It has to. But you know, yeah, it has to. At a certain point, but you could just send rats with like on, on a boat. Yeah, well, that's less fun than. A whole tunnel system. That's true. Yeah, so I'm down, I'm down for the world. I guess secondary, rat a secondary tunnel where only the rats can get through. But the the question the is, is how long? Where are the dwarves, and how long have they been holding out their tunnels? This could be the year that we find that out. I'm hoping. Like, if we can find out about aliens, let's let's speed up figuring let's, out about yeah, dwarves. Hundred percent. Yeah. What's going on underneath what we're walking on? Let's figure that out. Yeah, okay. is, we already know there's tunnels. Yeah, lots of them. Wow, Apparently. dude, yeah. they're everywhere. Yeah. Fucking everywhere. Yeah. You're making people fight. I heard they yeah. found tunnels on the moon. Probably. Traces of tunnels on the moon. Probably. How long until they find them on Mars? Depends on how many more things you can shoot at Mars. Dude, I'm thinking, I think we could shoot more things at more Mars. Things. Did, you hear about, did you hear about, I don't mean to take over the news segment. No, take over the news segment. Did you hear segment. about the, the private company that was going to shoot a, a rocket to the moon? And then they had a leak in the propulsion... So what it was supposed to do is land really soft and take some samples okay. and leave like the remains of various people, like an astronaut. One was one of the people on the original Star Trek and shit. So we're going to literally... Various like, remains? Like, like yeah, people, their remains. They were like, uh, like, a, like ashes, I would guess. A portion. Yeah, they're not just going to leave like, be like Like limp bodies that have been dead for 30 years or whatever. But I like, mean, that's what we did with a killer whale. I mean... You're not wrong. Yeah. You're not wrong. Yeah. But no, so basically we're supposed to have this like soft touchdown and do this, all this stuff. And they came out the other day and they're like, uh, yeah, we got a big leak in this thing. So that soft touchdown stuff's not going to happen. So this is just going to crash right to the moon with dead people on it and shit. Technically, they're still completing their mission objective. So. Well, half of it. Yeah. All the science stuff, that's out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But those, those ashes are getting <laughs> yeah, on the moon. They are on the moon. For like, sure. Yeah, exactly. They're going to be a part of the moon for a while, yeah. very deeper than they intended, but Oof. leave a nice little crater. They'll probably Oof. name that after the people. Oof. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know they named craters for the longest time. Yeah, they got nothing else. It makes sense, right? Yeah, they got nothing else to do. Too. What else are you going to call it Yeah. to identify it for? Not that one. The other one. Th yeah. That one's Bob, dude. That's, yeah. Bro, that's my crater. <laughs> Why is your crater bigger than mine, bro? Dude, I discovered it first. Like, what, like what's going on? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> what else is going on in the news? Anything? Is that the only story you've heard? Um, I know for sports people, uh, Buffalo Bills, so with a Buffalo game, there was so much snow in the stadium that they reached out to, like, the public to, like, shovel the snow in an attempt to play today. Huh. And they were offering $20 an hour. Okay. And I remember thinking, wow, you have guys making millions of dollars to do nothing. Couldn't make it 50? You know what I mean? So no one came out. <laughs> no, yeah, they, of course. Everyone just went out, fuck that. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, they're not going to, no. No. I wouldn't so do that. So they just moved it. Just moved it. But like a different location? or No, they just moved the day. Like I, hopefully, oh, okay. Yeah, hopefully okay. the snow breaks and it won't be another 20 feet or whatever. The place is miserable. Less worse, the better, honestly. Yeah, I mean, hey. Yeah, some people are not a fan. Yeah, I I get it. I got friends who are fans who are huge into sports. So I just it just never caught me. You know, I'll, I'll watch a game and I'll feel like an expert by the time I'm done watching one football game. I think I know all of it now. Yeah, just like like oh dude, the fucking Chiefs defense just can't just can't handle this onslaught. You know, yeah. like, <laughs> as long as long as twenty four is in play, like they're fucked. Like, yeah. I, I don't know what it is about football that what just watching a little bit, I feel like 
I'm a genius at it. Right. I don't know. It makes you feel smart. It's, it's one of those games that's really complex, but it's also very simple. You got to get from point A to point B. Yeah. <laughs> you got so many times to do it. Ball go. <laughs> Grab ball good. <laughs> yep. Yep. Drop ball bad. Most, uh, most people hold job, just get to the ball. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get, get, go get ball. Yeah, that's it. Run at ball, person with ball, hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very simple. I like it. <laughs> like, I know I just said I hate it, but at the same time, like, I'm, if it's in front of me, I'll watch it. Whatever. Sure. Uh, I'm a 49ers fan just because like, I have friends who will hurt me if I don't say that. You I know get what that. I mean? I yeah. get that. I get that's that. That's as far as it fucking goes. Yeah, I get goes. that. Yeah, yeah. Officially. <laughs> yeah, officially, yeah. if you don't like uh, the 49ers, uh, go fuck your face, and I hope you die. But right. It's not that serious. But we, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. It really doesn't affect you in the long run. You know what I mean? Not but, even a little no, bit. I get that. I, it's just, it's for, for my sponsor's sake. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> We're sponsored by Japan again. Yeah, exactly. Big 49er fans. Big 49er right. fans <laughs> out, out in Japan. Yeah. It's all Hideo Kojima. Yeah. Half of them don't have a part of their pinky, but they're all 49er fans. <laughs> uh, speaking of Kojima, are, are you a video game fan? Uh, not really. I mean, I'm aware of things, but I don't really play a whole lot of video games. Okay. Is there any, like, nerdy or dorky things that you are into that you are about? Oh, man. Well, sports. But the less sports, the better. I get that. Um, I don't know. I like all kinds of stuff. Like I said, like I told you the thing about the shooting... People up into the space, into the moon and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm into like, people uh, shooting yeah, yeah. people in the moon and shit. Yeah, what yeah, else shit, do you shoot want? Shoot stuff into space. I like that shit. You know what I mean? I'm all for it. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I, I, under, I understand that it's probably not universally. Yeah. Like, you shouldn't litter, but at the same time, shooting a car into space is pretty fun. Sure. Whatever. I'm a big nerd about like history. I like history a lot. Oh, yeah. I love I like being history. a nerd about history. Oh, man. What's your favorite war? My favorite. What's your war? favorite oh, atrocity? That's, that's a good one. That, of that's, expenditure of human life. What was your favorite historical war? Man, the Boer War is a pretty good one. Is that just people shooting arrows at each other? What's was, the Boer was, War? It was British people against uh, you know people they conquered. Uh, and, <laughs> that that and, doesn't and, narrow it down. Not, very not a whole much. Lot. <laughs> the British Empire was huge, bro. Like who wasn't that? Well. For what it's worth, the Boers being not, you know, heard of very much didn't do super well. You know what I mean? Yeah, I haven't heard of them much. Um, so obviously it was like, an effective uh, war. There was like, a, there was a dude, his name was like Nestor Monka or something. He was like a general. And he's just a crazy motherfucker. Like, while these guys would be in like trenches and stuff and hills, he would just be charging at people and get shot all the time. You know what I mean? But yeah. if he could make it into that bunker, he'd just whip out a sword and just kill a bunch of people. Like, you know what I mean? And like, he, he won a big battle. That, I like that. You know, yeah, yeah. He was like, a, like he was a bad dude. He was like a real bad dude. <laughs> you, know? you know? I love that. Yeah. But like, I don't know. I like, I like weird, like historical shit. Like, I'm just a weird guy like that. Yeah. yeah. I'm a fan of like some Japanese history. Some shit that was going on back then, like uh, I read the Hagakure, yeah. which is like just a, it's not necessarily poems, but they're just like weird contextual historical dealings with people and stories of like swordsmen who would be honor bound to do something or fucking like how you should act if you're a messenger. Like you only give notes to the dude on the letter. You don't yeah. give it to his guard. Fuck yeah. that. You just, just little shit like that. It's, it's really fun. Some of that imperial stuff's really cool. You know what yeah, I mean? like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we never had Weird like, samurais and, stuff. and shit. You know like, I mean? yeah, like if you're a dude, if you're a samurai and you need to take a shit and you and you knock on a house and there's only a woman there, don't shit at her house or you get your head cut off. See, you can't be alone with a woman. I would not be mad just at that. You know what I mean? We could go back to some of that shit. You know? What yeah, I, mean? I don't know. If, I, we never had it. The Japanese did. We could, but I'm. Well, we could adopt. Let's that. bring it back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's they're fans of our culture. Why can't we be fans of theirs? Hundred percent. Yeah. Well, I mean, ultimately, we are. We got a lot of Hello Kitty fans of shit. Uh, True. You know, they got like low riders and cowboys in Japan. Cowboys? Yeah, there's a like, cowboy. That's Japanese dope. people. Do like gator skin boots and cowboy hats and shit? Oh, dude, yeah, F cowboy hats. They're fucking. Uh, look at look at like leather jackets and shit, and they'll, they'll pomp their hair. Yeah. <laughs> right to cowboy. Yeah. Right to noon. We're listening to Dean Martin. Yeah. 
Marty Robbins. <laughs> I'll be a dog and cowboy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Too much of that. Oh, man. Okay. We got five minutes before we need to take a short intermission. Short intermission? Short intermission. So, oh, dude, man. so short, but ju just long enough. Like, just long enough. Just yeah. long enough. That's the important part. Long enough for the sponsors to for get the, everything they need out. Come is free. Come is free. Come is free. That There's is on the menu. It's always on the menu. It's the chef's come. So yeah, it's a it's a chef special. Yeah, you got so if there's more than one chef, you got to label it and date it. And yeah, it and that tends to be a hassle. So you just yeah. have the head head chef, and maybe the sous chef can like warm fluff them up a little bit. Yeah. That's what I. You'd like, you know, I just imagine like a big court thing. Just be like, which one did you want? I gotta shake it. Can Jules at the top? I gotta shake yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta like scoop the cream yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the scum just scoop yeah, it. Yeah, you just turn it down the into butter for your fucking. I presume it's taken in a shot glass. I don't. I'm all full up. But. Well, it's free, so it's, yeah, yeah, it's however much yeah, you however want. It comes, yeah, that's true. That's true. You use that dick cheese for cheesecake. That well. That's a take on cheesecake. There you go. Yeah. Some under cheese, like yeah. Stinky cheese. Stinky cheese. No one's had. Nobody's had stinky cheesecake. It's always sweet. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Why is that? I don't know. Why are we putting labels on cheesecake? Right. Because the stinky cheese is always the best. Yeah. So. That's what French people say. You know, I, I, I shouldn't tend to agree with French people, but actually, my opinion of them is rising since they've been uh, dumping shit on their government buildings. That's been. They do a good protest. They, they do do speaking, a good protest. I'll give it to the French protest. people. Yeah. They, they murdered their monarchy. Yeah. England hasn't done that shit yet. No. And I, I honestly think they should. Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't hurt. It, would, it wouldn't hurt. It's like, I, I don't, I, I'm just against monarchies. I don't like them. Yeah, they're, they're only a monarchy in like ceremony and in oh, yeah. making all the money and owning all the stuff. But other than that, they don't. Really yeah, but still, that's like. All the oh, so they get all the good parts without the having to like oh no, they don't have any of the responsibility of ruling a nation or having the direct <laughs> the direct anger of the people's woe upon them. Like, what do you mean? That's that's true. That's what true, do you, you know, mean? That's... How did they get that fucking deal? That's dude? a certain level of privilege. That I think how did that happen? Like, how do you fleece a country so bad? Like, no, no, no. We just get to keep doing the good shit. Like, yeah. you, we get to keep all the jewelry. Yeah, yeah, no. And you still exonerate us all the time, but. I like that courts, like... We don't have to make decisions anymore. Other countries are suing to try to get their stuff back, you know what I mean, from the museums and stuff. Yeah. And all the high courts, you know what I mean, in Spain, I just read about, where uh, they uh, they just, a big high court was like, uh, no, we're not giving anything back. You know what I mean? Like, that's not how that's going to go. You know what I mean? No, we stole it from you, but that, we're not giving it back. <laughs> Why would you think that? You get to look at it. Look yeah, at it. yeah, See? yeah. Come spend your money here and you can this get to look at it. used to be yours. So, <laughs> yeah. God damn it, dude. And it'll have a little plaque. <laughs> We're going to take a brief intermission. We'll be right back. And we're back. We had a brief intermission. Let's go ahead and bring it back around to comedy. We had our we had our fun. Let's serious. What are you hoping to get out of comedy eventually? Man, I don't know. I haven't done it long. Like I said, about two years. Right. Um, right now, it's just a creative outlet that I've never really had, never really used. Um, and so I, I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, I'm very fortunate that I have a space like Studio in every Wednesday, open mic. Mm. Uh, that allows me to do shows and make a little bit of money so that I can pay comics, mm -hmm. get people out. You know what I mean? Not every comic, you know, necessarily gets to do shows and shit like that. So, yeah, you know what I mean? Right now I'm just enjoying doing all that stuff, but I'd like in this next year to start traveling more. You know what I mean? I haven't really gone out of the area a whole lot. Mm -hmm. And so I'd like to just travel more and keep, keep rolling with it. As long as it's fun, I'm going to keep doing it. Once it's not fun anymore, I'm out. But I should hit up Sacramento more. Yeah, I'd like to. Fun opportunities. I've done uh, I've done one open mic. Other than the, the first one, I've done one. Which one was that? Uh, it was Players. Yeah. Yeah, that was an interesting one. Players is fun. Players is, uh, was that, who was running it at the time? David Thorne. David Thorne? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. David Thorne uh, uh, took over the place. 
Uh, he's done done good things. That I like players. Yeah, it was it was a good mic. It, the thing that was kind of weird was there's like two mics that night, I guess, or whatever. So people will go from one to the other, mm-hmm. and when they all started to file in to the players' mic, they were just being loud. You know what I mean? Super, super, super loud. Yeah, and I was yeah, like, that's yeah. kind of a weird dynamic. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it eventually turns more of a hangout. Right. You know what I mean? So like, I went with. A couple of the newer guys, you know what I mean? Like in their first year. Right. So it was kind of funny. Like we sit down and we're all like signing up on the list. And the guy goes, uh, whoever was helping David at the time, he's like, so how long have you guys been doing it? You know what I mean? They're like, you know, a couple months, a couple months. And I was like, I don't know, year and a half, you know, almost two years, something like that. And he goes, oh, so you're all new. And I'm looking around and I'm like, I guess, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Because I don't feel new compared to like these guys or whatever. But Yeah, it's all know, relative. It was one of those things where like. It really shows where experience kind of plays in where I went up, realized there was like four or five people that were actually listening. Mm -hmm. And so I just walked and did comedy right in front of them. You know what I mean? Like there's no point in staying in that area and trying to drown out the noise. I just did it right to those people. Yeah. That's a good move to do. You know what I mean? So that was just, it was an interesting experience. Yeah. I want to go up that way more, you know. Reading seems scene seems interesting. You know what I mean? Those guys up there. Yeah. But you know, I just want to branch out. Yeah. Have another one over there. Definitely. Uh, I've had the good fortune of being able to travel more recently, and uh, yeah, when, when you when you're able to go to a different place, like like is my shit only work where I'm at, and really test yourself, meet new people, right? Make those connections. It's fucking. It's really good. Right. And everyone's really accommodating. Like it's it's very interesting in the scene. Everyone's pretty, you know, yeah, willing to meet each other and help each other out. And stuff, yeah, absolutely. So. And even fucking a, like I've been doing it almost three times as long as you have, and I just have gotten like the opportunities to like really travel like last year. Right. So it opportunities come and go. It's a, uh, it's it's all and everybody's fucking shit is different. Yeah. But, but you know, just gotta be. Open and willing, and yeah, it's a it's a patient game, cause it, there there's highs and there's fucking lows, dude. Right? Oh yeah, for sure. It's weird. Uh, yeah, and, and and so because you're staking your fucking whole everything on it, basically, like your emotional state, your fucking how you how you feel about yourself is like I don't know about you, but personally for me is like I I, I judge myself based on how I feel where I'm at in comedy, right. like how how good I'm doing, you know. Sure. And, no, uh, that totally makes sense. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, and, you know, I've always, I grew up, like, doing sports and stuff. So yeah. I've, I've always looked at comedy um, really pointedly, like, directive-based. And, you know, right. not everyone necessarily does things like that. But from doing sports and stuff, you know, it's like, if you're going to do something, do it well. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And so if that means taking some time off, that means, you know, getting something done. But so, like, I really just take whatever my overall objective is to whatever thing I'm doing and I apply it, you know? And I feel like I haven't had a whole lot of lows. I haven't been around as long. I haven't been doing it as much, but I think a lot of that is because some comics don't have that pointed directive base. Oh, dude. You know what I mean? They're just flying out by the seat of their pants. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. What's a day planner? I don't know. (laughs) What the fuck? Right. Do you write anything down? I remember someone asked me that recently. They're like, do you write anything down? And I was like, not really. You know what I mean? Like, you probably should. I was like, maybe. Probably. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. yeah. I keep some stuff in my phone. But, yeah, I'm that's, getting better. That's about I'm getting it. better about writing stuff down on paper. But yeah, man. But uh, yeah. not the best about it. I don't keep a notebook with me. Yeah, I try to. I try yeah. to now. God damn it! It's, a, it's those little things. You know, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You'll commit it to memory better if you write it down. God damn it's it. Like, thank you, very, very Thanks, old Thanks, Dad. Man. Yeah. Thank you, very, very old Uber driver that's giving me <laughs> advice on my comedy career. I fucking appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you're the guy. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to mention you during my fucking Netflix special. Oh, I hadn't thought about that. Everyone else has notepads. I thought, what a bunch of fucking idiots. Sir, you what is your name? I'm naming my firstborn child Oh, my you. gosh. Right. Yeah. You ever really think about that? You take a lot of Ubers? 
Like you, not, not as not much. No, not I, I used to. Dude, there was one point where I was Ubering to do comedy, right. which is like the most brain dead, right? Like I, sinking money in the whole thing. You can oh, hundred percent. Yeah. But like, have you ever like done like taking an Uber to do comedy, and then this happens to me all the time. The fool wants to just tell you about like your comedy career. You know how you could do this better? And it's like, oh, do tell. You know what I mean? Like the other no, day. No, that's no, that's my friend's dad. Ugh. The other day I was taking an Uber and the guy basically through the whole Uber, I could boil it down to one thing, and that was I should either get a manager. I was like, I don't think I'm that popular, right? Haven't been doing it that long. Yeah. Or or. He saw the business side. I should just manage all of you guys. So you would pay me some part of the no money that any of us make doing any of this stuff. You know how you can succeed by giving me money? <laughs> yeah. And he's like, wow, man. That's a gr And you're driving Uber? You must be Ooh. fucking amazing. Yeah, at this must be who? a pet project that you really enjoy yeah, doing. Yeah, who else like, do you manage? Oh, my gosh, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, you don't manage yourself very well. What the fuck? It blew my mind. It just, I was like, oh, cool. But I get it all the no time. Way. I get it all the time. I take a fair amount of Ubers and they all want to tell you how to, how to do he's like, listen, comedy. Because you know? they're in business for themselves, dude. So why aren't you by investing in them? Right. You know what I did? <laughs> Scumbag move, though. You know what I've been doing is now when we start talking about comedy, when they're like, where are we taking you? And I'm like, I'm running the open mic or whatever. You try to get them to go on stage before even better uh, it's more selfish than that it's a total <laughs> scumbag move before we can even get to them telling me about my career i'll be like hey can you watch this one video i have on youtube and so i'll make them watch that while we do the whole thing so they get the view out of it we don't have to have the terrible conversation and generally i'm not in there for the full 15 minutes of the video and anyway. they want you to leave the car so they don't want to talk to you anymore after that it yeah. worked for me holy shit that's a pro move yeah God damn it, I might have to employ I need to get a clip on YouTube. Yeah. I'll start showing them the podcast. Do these ones, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So before they have a chance to bum you out with whatever story they're going to tell you. Oh, yeah, you. dude, check this out. Yeah. Episode, episode three, yeah, yeah, Connor yeah, Fitzgerald. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah. And they'll be like, all right, you don't even have to tip. Just get out. Yeah, dude, <laughs> get out. It's like, if, if anything, they'll give you money because they feel so bad. Maybe. Yeah. Like, oh, dude, you're another dude with a podcast? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Here's 20 bucks, kid. Yeah, yeah, go, yeah, yeah. go get some Jack in the Box. What the fuck? You need it more than I do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> so, you, so Connor Fitzgerald, everybody. He's a nerd about sports. That's about it. Uh, secret tunnels, they're everywhere. They're not a secret anymore. We're cracking the case on that. Yeah, we're, we're gonna, gonna figure it out. We're gonna map these tunnels out. It's gonna be like the plot of Gears of War, actually. Okay. Yeah. I okay. Don't know you, I, don't, I don't know if you played that one on the Xbox. Yeah, back back in the day. Back in the day, Gears of War. Chainsaw Guns. Gears of War. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, dude. Fucking, we're yeah. gonna map those tunnels out. That was that was like the plot. Nobody remembers the plot. Right. It's just because there was just so much gratuitous <laughs> violence. Yeah. yeah. That's that game it. was rad. Yeah, that game was fucking fun. Like what, what happened? You know. I don't know. You'd think that game like that would have stuck around. Like. Mm, it tried to, well, but it just didn't. I don't know. After really, the three, the first three that came out just lost steam. You can only chainsaw things so many times. For uh, I don't, I don't know. It's, just, it's just not the same. I liked that you would like bound to walls. Like the movement oh, was like. Oh, yeah. You were wow. like Velcro <laughs> to surfaces. <laughs> yeah. You were just a you were a living magnet yeah. for chest high walls. It, it to created a very them. interesting, yeah. Whoa. This, this <laughs> yeah. weird magnetic slingshot. So like you could ch you would chain you wouldn't like walk you would just boom you'd yeah, just be you, moving you, to different like places. Teleport to yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was yeah. a very interesting dynamic for a video game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and the objective was to get as humanly close to somebody as you can. Uh, to either blow them into pieces with a shotgun or chainsaw them to death. Right. That was the only thing. No, nobody just actually shot people with bullets from an automatic from a rifle or something no, like that. No, there's no need. No, yeah. no, none of that. No, no snipers were no. Again. No long range. No. no. I mean, you might be able to bow somebody. That that bow was. That sick. bow was pretty cool. Yeah. Because <laughs> then, <yeah. laughs> then you stick people and they're like, oh fuck, and then they explode. Yeah. That's the only reaction to that. That's very satisfying. Very I like satisfying. When, I like when people blow up. When I was playing Call of Duty, Ooh. way back in the day, like when way I was back. when I was in junior college doing that stuff, I always liked to have the class where just like everything exploded. You had like a rocket launcher, you had grenade launchers. Just I was that asshole. That was oh just yeah, everything blowing up. grenades. Oh, yeah, 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 everything's exploding. Shotguns. Yeah. Guess what? They're yeah. fucking explosive <laughs> yeah, rounds. Exactly. You're getting blown up. Yep. We're doing big AOEs out here. Yep. Yep. 
Fuck KD yeah. was never great. But no, <laughs> but, but you had a good time and oh, you pissed man. people off. Oh, that, that's so mad. So half mad. of the objective. So mad. You can blow up your own teammates, too. They get, oh, they yeah. get, they're the ones that can get really mad in your ear. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's the most satisfying thing. When, you're, when you start getting death threats online. <laughs> who is this little 13 year old? Well, 13 year old. Who is this kid? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they started just throwing every slur under the sun, hoping something sticks on you. Yeah, I'm, I like that. Uh, can we just say, for as much as everyone says things are going to shit, at least 13-year-olds have stayed as mean now yeah, as they were when I was 13. It and hasn't sure, changed. I'm sure that's going to be yeah, yeah. Think about where you were at in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 lobbies. Oh, what, what did you hear? And you're thinking today things are so heated and divisive. Like, oh, man. my God, dude. Yeah. Like, you know, like nerd stuff. I recently started like trying to learn how to play Magic the Gathering. Okay. Yeah. Right? I play Magic. You know what I mean? And uh, I dabbled in it when I was young, but I was like, ah, as an adult, I can figure this out. And uh, it is hard. It's really hard. Yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot of words on them. You got to read them all. But then the worst part is that these motherfucking kids. <laughs> They're like children. They're like 13 are playing against me in a tournament and they're talking the same shit that they oh, do in the yeah, lobby dude. of these games directly to my face. Yeah, dude. Oh, <laughs> they don't give a fuck. These kids uh, are mean. It makes me proud in a way, but it, it stings, man. It stings. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like the torch has carried on for sure. I, I love to see the indomitable human spirit. Yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, like fuck dude. Oh, it's gnarly. Yeah. It, it's unfortunate. It, it's something that, has always been happening though that that mentality that idea because it what was it was even like aristotle so it was some old philosopher dude who was like the world's gonna go to shit today's kids have no respect for anything <laughs> they're, yeah. they're they're lazy and retarded but uh, but you know every old person feels that way of course the yeah. one thing changes more they stay the same yeah anyways. yeah yeah exactly like these old runes on the top of this cave what do they say it must be some ancient meaningful thing and it just like grog was here yeah <laughs> It's just, yeah. Same my stuff. dick is big. Like that, <laughs> yeah. That's all it says. Like, I fuck boobs. Greta here. It just says boobs. Yeah, 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 yeah. The more things change, the more <laughs> things stay the same. It's all the same shit. Yeah. People in Pompeii were jerking off. Like, yeah. 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 Whatever you got to do. Yeah, dude. It's the same shit. We just have new toys. Way new toys. Yeah. The toys now are cool. Yeah. Dude. You heard about the knife missile that they shoot at people now? Ballistic knives? No, 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 no. So it's like they have this missile that they'll shoot. It's like a Raytheon thing. And it doesn't have a warhead on it, but what it'll do is as it closes into wherever it's trying to hit specifically, it'll break into a bunch of blades that spin and oh, just saw them yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I have heard about that. We killed that. a big terrorist with it last year, so. Yeah, yeah, because, yeah, I have heard of the knife. The knife, the knife mi missile's pretty The rad. knife missile is, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's terrifying Absolutely. to think about. Less babies get in the in the way of, there's, where there's no warhead, you know what I mean? You're pretty much sawing down. Whatever you're aiming for. Yeah, for it's, uh, whatever is in this radius mm -hmm. is, is getting fucked down to the to the concrete floorboards. Big blades. Yep. Big blades, dude. That's, yeah, it's scary. It's fucked. Yeah. But it's it's not not cool. Right. You know? <laughs> right. I mean, like you said, we got way better toys. Like when we had the, remember the Chinese spy balloons that they had up there or whatever? That was yeah. hanging out? Man. <laughs> Like those are our balloons. Like it's it's got it just says China on it. If, we sent, if shot down or turned to China. We sent a six million dollar plane to shoot a three hundred thousand dollar missile at what was basically a balloon with computers attached to it. Yeah. I could have done that shit with a two thousand dollar drone and a hand grenade. Bro, you 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 could you could have done it with a drone and a small twenty two pistol. Yeah. It's like attached to it that wouldn't be hard yeah, i just you know that's it's so just, stupid that's the american way it's like it's that old uh it's that old ron white joke right where he's like they you know i wasn't drunk in public i was drunk in the bar he goes they threw me into public but at one point he goes um then six bouncers come up to throw me out right and yeah. he goes i don't know how many it would take to kick my ass but i know how many they were going to use and that's yeah. a handy bit of information. Yeah. That's that's the American way. Like <laughs> Yeah, I get it. I get that's it. That's how e we do everything it. is a flex of power. <laughs> that's how we do it. Yeah. 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 But at the same time, like 
people are kind of hungry and things are yeah. expensive. Yeah. And for every, for every one, for every one Chinese spy balloon we shoot down, we shot down one that was from like the Illinois Institute of Aeronautics. that was just like tracking stuff. Like, Oh yeah. <laughs> it was, yeah. We were just saw a shoot all balloons. You could have just, just called the guy. Yeah. yeah it was a, it was an on-site balloon. Yeah, balloon war. Yeah. On, yeah. It's on now. <laughs> yeah. 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 All balloons. <laughs> doesn't matter. Get your balloons out of the sky. We're shooting Fuck them you, down. Fuck you, Illinois Institute of Aeronautics or whatever. Yeah, like, one balloon. We're killing all the yeah. balloons now. No balloons. There's a blanket <laughs> ban on balloons for the next five days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh my God, dude. It's it's if America had an emu war, we probably would have won it. Oh yeah, yeah. I think so. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Probably. Yeah. So, I mean, we got big missiles and stuff. You know, they didn't have the, all that. No, they did have like mini guns and shit. That's true. <laughs> Someone has to hold the chains. Just like. <laughs> yeah! 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 <laughs> <laughs> What's the side effect from that? Just <laughs> well, you're not hearing, and then yeah, just... <laughs> like, and the other the hot ones are shooting in your face and shit. Yeah, so you probably lost an eye. You've got scars yeah. on your face. Like that's just Timmy. He's yeah. taking out from the wall. Yeah. <laughs> just burning hot empties. Great emu <laughs> wall. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Took his old platoon out. Mow him down. <laughs> Hold. <laughs> Hold. <laughs> Goddamn Timmy with a PSW <laughs> yeah, yeah, of an yeah, emo, yeah. emu war. Goddamn <laughs> emus torturing him for six days straight. It says like three casualties, four POWs. So he got captured. He's just the <laughs> John McCain of the emu yeah, war, dude. Yeah. They captured four of our guys. We got to get Can't them back. Can't lift his arms up anymore because <laughs> what those emus did to him. <laughs> They're fucking him up, dude. Yeah. God damn yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> now let's make him a political figure and be the most reasonable one out of that side. Like... Yeah, he's just shaking. Yeah. <laughs> we, need, we need to take care of the homeless issues. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, he was the only one on that side that was like torture's bad, right? When when we were when we were Weird. sanctioning torture, yeah, he was the only one. Yeah, it's wild, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. he knew he was just like well, we shouldn't do that <laughs> yeah. to people. Yeah. Just the thought. He would raise his hand if he could, but he didn't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just couldn't get a word. I was like, damn it. Uh, they should have just given him like a buzzer with like a light behind his head. <laughs> exactly. And Senator McCain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Homelessness for 300, John. <laughs> uh, speaking of, I, I like to ask people, how, how do we fix homelessness, Connor? Because oh, anybody's going to figure it out. It's us comedians, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. We are the, the, the great white hope for, for fixing cultural and social issues. Exactly. Exactly. We're at the forefront <laughs> of... Society. I don't know. It's it's such a complex situation because, you know, I believe it kind of falls on two sides. You got like the people that got kicked out of their like government homes in the eighties mm -hmm. and don't get like don't have prescriptions and stuff that they need. Yeah, yeah. And that's like a really sad thing. And I think that's one side you have to quell. The other side is the people that are like what do you mean two days a week at McDonald's? That's entirely too much for me. And then they just they just go it on their own. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah. how you solve that one. That you know what I mean? Like, there's just something inherently I don't know difficult about I, that. I, I do know my plan for me and my friends. Like, if anybody like becomes a hardcore addict and is just like out on the street and is just fucking up their own life and they're just refusing sobriety or whatever because of the, the the state that they're in uh we're going to kidnap them put them in a room and like beat them up until they're sober that's not a half like, bad plan yeah like if i if i if i succumb to heroin or meth and my buddies don't kidnap me and beat me up i'll be mad right there's something to be said about the fear of an impending ass whooping. You know oh, what I mean? A hundred percent. Like, no, they're gonna like I'll like if if I have to kidnap my buddy, I'll feed you. Like, I'll feed him. I'll take care of sure. him. Like, hey, buddy. Like, I just want you to be clean. And like, and he says, I want meth. You know, got to put an the, ass whooping. Yep. Got to put the boot to him a little bit. Yeah, that's the only way. You yeah, know, you until they're that. like, okay. Yeah. yeah. Like, all right, man. It's not the worst plan. It's not the worst. I like. I think it'll help keep me and my friends sober. There's a there's, and there's just that looming threat of like, man, I can't do meth. I'm gonna get kidnapped and beaten to shit. Like, fuck, I gotta stay decent, you know. I I, I don't know. It's tough. I believe it was Voltaire, the writer, who said, ah. uh, "People will do anything for homeless people, except leave them alone." 
And I think that's an interesting, poignant uh, topic from a guy <laughs> a long time ago. Hmm. Yeah. We'll do everything for a homeless person besides leave anything, them alone. Anything for a homeless person, but leave them alone. That's most of what I do. That's the only thing I do do. I, I just leave them, them alone. Yeah. I leave them alone. I don't do anything. I, don't, I, don't, I mean, if one says, you know, what's up? I'll be like, hey, like, got a cigarette? I'll be like, I'm out. I'm yeah. not. Yeah. That's about it. I used to ask them for money. I'd be like, oh. I was like, oh, was, oh I, I, forgot, I forgot my change for the bus. I was like, is there any way I could bum like a dollar from you? And then they'll just leave you alone. Mm. <laughs> I was hanging out with Dylan somewhat recently. I forget when it was, but we went to the coin op and then we were just, he was just walking around with a bunch of quarters in his pocket. <laughs> loud as fuck. Yeah. Just jangling, walking by homeless yeah. people. Flaunting it. He's just yeah, flaunting it. Yeah. Like, I hope they hear it. Yeah, it's the Dylan Collins parade for through the homeless, the streets. The homeless. <laughs> it's just him walking yeah. around. <laughs> with jingling it in his pocket. And just making hard eye contact. With him. That's jingle, jangle, jingle, jangle, jangle. He's just going, no, I'm out. Sorry. Just jingle. <laughs> no. no. Sorry, I'm all out. Got nothing. No cash on me. <laughs> all, card only, man. He's all shoulders. Just, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That sounds like Dylan. Yeah, he's all do. <laughs> Learns how to do fucking yeah. like little tricks. Flipping into you. He goes, you want this quarter? And then he does like the like wham, and then disappears he disappears. And he yeah. walks away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, fuck, I got to learn magic. Of, <laughs> holy shit, sleight of hand is suddenly cool now. Man, that, or the reverse of like whoever was it, like... Uh, the dude that would do the street magic and he'd turn like one dollar and then it would fold out into be a hundred bucks. He just does it in reverse where it's like a hundred bucks and then when <laughs> they unfold it, it's a dollar. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Holy fuck. <laughs> I think he just took ninety nine dollars from me, man. Like that was my hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's just a metaphor for like uh, driving out to comedy shows. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like hey, let's <laughs> thank, thank See you. See this for money the... I made tonight. Now Turn into gone. a cool one dollar tip. Yeah, now it's gone. Yeah, <laughs> it's gone. Okay. And it's gone. Good thing I came out for the ten of you guys. You know what I mean? Like... Uh, the ten, the six. Exactly. Yeah. Brass Rail show was last night. There was like six people in the audience. And the show was christened by a dog shitting on a metal chair, which actually got the audio working. I told you about that yeah. already. Yeah. yeah, that's what made... Like I said, it's like an Odin thing where it like swoops in yeah. and saves the day but makes everything way worse in the process. Like, Yeah. Yeah, that's... Uh, Fuddling around with the audio for like half an hour trying to get it to work. <laughs> Nothing's working. Suddenly a dog takes a shit on a chair. Then the mic's on. Which, I, don't, I don't know. When you When you were telling me that when we were off camera, I th well, I thought that story was going to be, and at the venue, there was only, you know, so many people, and then a dog starts shitting on a chair, and that was the biggest laughs we got all night. That's where I thought that story was going. I had no well, idea it would be like a divine intervention type story. You know no, I mean? it was, no, dude, nobody was in the room at that point, but like the comics. Ah. Yeah, and... uh do you believe in superstition? Because you might have to have the dog shit on the chair every time. Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm stition curious. <laughs> I'm I'm super curious. Super super curious. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a better word. Yeah. I'm super curious. I just you know you don't want to have to rely on the dog shitting on the chair for the. Audio. No, I'd rather. Uh, the audio has always been a problem there. Hooking it up, it usually takes like at least ten minutes of fucking around with it to get something <laughs> to work. But yeah, hopefully now the dog shitting in the chair isn't something I have to do every time. Right. But thankfully, there's a really good influx of like pit bull puppies and shit. Okay, so so oh, even if we dog, need yeah. a dog, we can get a dog to shit on the chair. Yeah. It's good to have a contingency plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was like at least three pit bulls at the function. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Shit. Yeah. Pit bulls are nice. Six people, four pit bulls. That sounds about right. Well, three pit bulls and the husky that shit on the chair. <laughs> that very specifically like, lifted his ass in the air and was shitting on the chair. It was very wild to That's see. That's impressive. That's why you got to record more of this Yeah, stuff. I was not even mad. I was just like, what the fuck, dude? Yeah. <laughs> like, I was just pointing at comments wow. like, guys, check this. <laughs> you guys see this dog shitting on this chair? And that's the those are the words that came out of the speakers. Got everything working. It was a weird moment. Yeah. Weird moment. Oh, man. But uh, we're going to wrap that up. Uh, 
This podcast is brought to you by Japan and dog shit. Dog shitting on his chair, yeah. Uh, again, Connor, uh, where can people find you? I know you said just <laughs> yeah. in, 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 Instagram at Connor. <laughs> Connor Fitzgerald. <laughs> Basically, uh, Connor Fitzgerald, one N in Connor. Um, 9024. Again, I don't know where those numbers come from. But uh, be on the lookout. I guess we'll do a C underscore if it fits comedy. And, uh, Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, start building it from there. Yeah, you make the page, I'll put it on the fucking show title. Heck yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Thanks for coming out. No problem. Anytime. Thank you.